Hey, this is Mike. Today I want to show you a new feature that's going to allow you to add your own custom filters and actions from Photoshop uh, to your social booth photos. So we're going to do this by creating uh, what we call a droplet. So we're going to run a Photoshop action and um, you can see it going through the steps right here. And we're going to do this just to show the final results, to show what we're going after. And you can see it's um, a hand-drawn cartoon filter. So um, it looks pretty cool. So you can see I'm going to edit the action here. And this is an action I've got off the internet. So um, basically I'm going to record another step so that at the end of the action uh, I'm going to save save the uh, the final JPEG. And I want to save it as a test.jpg into my temp folder, my C temp folder. So this is going to be the location that Social Booth is going to look for this photo that Photoshop creates. All right, so I added that to my action. So now every time I run the action, it's going to take uh, the photo and do the action and save it to the temp folder. So to create the droplet, go in the file menu and we're going to save this as sketch.exe. Social Booth is going to call that every time it takes a photo and it'll run in the background. So when I go into Social Booth, you can see I have the external command. So I've saved my droplet to um, C users mic desktop. And I called it sketch.exe. And you can see at the bottom I've got the Photoshop droplet example. So the arguments are basically going to be um, input file. And the output file will put C temp test.jpg. So essentially the input files are placeholder for the photo that's going to come out of Social Booth. And then we're telling it to look for um, C temp test.jpg to import it back in. So let's run a quick demo. So I left my taskbar up. Normally it would be hidden, but I wanted you to see that Photoshop is running in the background. And so right now it's processing the photo and Social Booth is waiting for it to save it to the, the temp directory to bring it back in. And there we go. Social Booth just made an awesome looking cartoon filter there. So I've got a couple more uh, that I've set up uh, just to show you a couple of examples. Uh, this one creates kind of like a, a fake 3D glasses look. I'll add uh, my favorite models here. And there you go. And here's one that does um, kind of like a duotone pop artifact. And another one here, it's going to do um, kind of more like a, a line drawing uh, comic book. And here's one that does um, a ghost effect, which is kind of cool um, for a Halloween booth. So I'll put uh, links to these Photoshop actions uh, on, the, on the blog post and I uh, hope you guys can have some fun with this.